Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the second part of my All About Liners video. So today I'm going to be talking about liquids as well as powders, but before I jump into that, I just want to apologize first for my voice. I know it's a little bit raspy. I'm still just getting over a little bit of a cold, but it's on its way out, so that's kind of exciting for me. Um, and the second part is I just want to highlight my brows. Um, I got them done at um, my store, Sephora, uh, Sephora, at the Benefit Brow Bar. So one of my good friends who actually used to work with me at Sephora, who now moved over to Benefit, did my brows and she did an amazing job. I love them. Um, the kind of cool thing about getting your brows done at Benefit is that they not only wax it, but they can also tint it, um, they tweeze any hairs that they're looking for, as well as they fill it in and give you a little bit of a makeup touch up before you go. So I didn't have to walk around with like fired and red um, skin and then she also filled in my brows as well so they look nice and crisp. Um, I didn't even have to worry about them when I did my makeup for the rest of this video. So it's kind of really cool. I really do recommend going there. Um, if you're in Vancouver, uh, try and find JMO. She's amazing. Um, a couple of the girls that work at Benefit that are really great. I haven't got my brows done by them but I've seen some of their work. Is Queenie. Um, she's so nice, so fun and so good at what she does. So definitely try out getting your brows done by someone at a Benefit Brow Bar. Um, they're just as good as going to any salon, I think. They do really good training on the staff. Um, so now on to my video. So the first one I'm going to talk about a little bit is um, powders, powder liner. Um, powder and cake liner I find kind of go together. They're very similar consistency. Cake liner's a little bit um, made differently I think and how cake liner works is you add water to activate it um, You can use other things to activate it as well as water, but it just makes the powder turn more into liquid um, So it's nice if you only have one thing and you want to kind of make it a little bit crisper than just a powder Then you can add a little bit of water um, but not many people use cake liners anymore. It's kind of more like a, I don't have anything else to do, I'll quickly just add some water to this type of situation I find now. Um, cake uh, products used to be a lot more popular back in the day. Um, there used to be cake foundations and cake blushes and cake everything was kind of centered in that sort of style of makeup. But products have advanced over the years and now it's not used as often. Um, but yeah. I kind of wanted to talk about that since I find that cake liners are very similar to powder when you buy them and the consistency of them when they're dry. Um, but powder liners are a really great way to define the eyes without them being too dramatic for people that aren't looking to have this like really crazy graphic liner or anything special. They just want a little bit of definition in their eye. That's where powders really come in. They're really nice for that. Um, what I usually use is I use a natural hair bristle brush and I will um, just do like the top, just how I would gel liner or any kind of style they are and just kind of do more wiggling. You don't want to kind of like brush it or sweep it. It's just kind of more wiggling it into like the lash line or where you're wanting it to be. It's a lot softer, it's not super prominent and it's not going to last as long as like a liquid or gel will but it's really nice and very classic of a look. I love to do it sometimes on myself when I'm just hanging around. I don't want to have a lot of makeup on or if I'm doing a photo shoot I, or if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, that's a great way of doing it. Um, you just want to make sure that the powder you're using is really high pigmented because if you do something a little bit lighter, you're not going to see it. So it's not going to last all day. Um, two brands that are really great for powders because of how pigmented they are is Makeup Forever and Urban Decay. I find those guys are great when I'm wanting to use it as a powder. Um, as a liner just because I can really get it and especially with Makeup Forever's new formula with the primer built into the eyeshadows It's perfect for making it into a liner. So I'd really recommend kind of trying that exploring it um, I also sometimes when I'm using pencil I'll use my power to smudge it and give it more of a smoky look so that's really kind of a good way to um, Do a powder liner without it being soft because you can really build up on the bottom of your lash line that kind of smoky effect um, So definitely don't kind of think of powders as just for eyeshadow or anything like that. It can be used in a multiple different ways. Sorry. Multiple different ways. Um, that being one of my favorite ones is smoking it into the bottom. And the last category for liners is <laughs> liquid liners. Okay, so there's two different kinds of liquid liners that I would kind of say there are. So there are either ones that you dip into a pot or ones that are pen tip applicator types. Um, my personal favorite is the pen tip applicator type. So I'm going to talk about that first. The reason that I like the pen tip applicators is because I find it's the easiest to control and use. It's just like using a pen. Um, I can kind of 
what I do when I'm doing it is I like place it and kind of press but I'm kind of figuring out where I'm wanting it. I can do really precise lines and it dries fairly quickly. Um, I find that I can kind of get the nicest sweep with it. It's the most cleanest. Um, yeah, I just have never had any trouble with a liquid liner. I find it works really, really well for me as well as really well when I'm doing it on clients. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about liquid liners. They're the bomb. Like liquid, waterproof, they all seem to last a lot better than... A lot better on me than a lot of other different liners they don't smudge they don't transfer because they don't have that waxy consistency I run very hot so if something's too waterproof or too waxy it transfers like crazy on me just because it doesn't fully set I don't think um, so even like mascara like if a waterproof uh, mascara transfers a lot more on me than say a non waterproof mascara because it doesn't have that extra wax in it. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I really like a pet liquid formula for when I'm doing my liner. Um, this is actually the one that I've been obsessed with lately, and this is Kat Von D's Ink Liner um, in Trooper. All of her ink liners are in Trooper. I prefer the one that has a felt tip liner um, opposed to the bristle tip. I find that the felt kind of goes on a little bit um, smoother for me. It was less like kind of jumpy and... I don't know, I just really like the felt tip. I thought I got a better, blacker, stronger line the first try. Um, but definitely both of them are super popular. Lots of people like them, so I definitely recommend the Kat Von D um, liquid liners. Um, and then as for dip pot liners, these I find are a little bit kind of becoming part of the past. It's a lot harder to find them nowadays. Um, Especially non-waterproof formulas. You're only going to really find non-waterproof formulas of liquid liners that come in a pot um, in um, like uh, Luxe brands. So that's like Dior, Givenchy, Guerlain. Those are the brands where you're going to most likely find one that's not in a waterproof formula. So if you are looking for that, it's be aware of that, that you might have to pay a little bit more for having it non waterproof. Um, I know for Sephora, the only ones that don't come in waterproof formula are those Lux brands, except for Sephora has the black color in it, but all of the colorful ones are all in waterproof form. Um, they're really nice for some people. I've never really kind of loved the dip pot kind, and what I mean by dip is just that like you have to dip it in to get more color. Um, the reason I didn't really like these ones is because I found that they dried, dried too slowly for me. I was, they were transferring on me, they are moving around, I'd have to get my client to keep their eyes closed longer, and even then sometimes when they'd open, it would still transfer. It was just a lot more finicky. I find I had a lot, I could do things a lot faster and easier with a pen tip type. But everyone has their different opinion and people love liquid still. Um, I think liquid would be better for doing more like designs and art with bigger scale because I think the uh, uh, pen tip applicator would dry out a little bit faster. This one you can have the ability to kind of like build it up and dip it in more to really kind of get that rich color. But I do it more in an artistic form opposed to doing it in a form on my face and wearing it daily. It just pen liquid um, in a dip pot just takes a little bit too long for me. All these, uh, all these different types of liners I've talked about in this video and my previous one are really personal preference. Each of them are going to give a different look. Each of them are going to work differently on each person. It's kind of exploring it and figuring out what look you like best on you. If you're wanting a really crisp one, the best way it one for me is liquid. Those are going to give you the crispest line because they don't have any like smudgeability, they just are there. If you're wanting something super, super soft, then powder is the way to go. Powder is gonna kinda give you that kind of smudgy look, um, really soft, it doesn't, it's not stark at all, not kind of outstanding. Um, if you're wanting versatility, then gel and pencil are the best way to go. Cause you can have them really crisp when you're using like a brush with them, or you can use them all around your face. Um, Cause you can't use, liquid in your waterline but you can use all the other kinds in your waterline so I think you need a good mixture of both um, to get everywhere to do a complete look on the face because just doing um, the liner up top is nice but then you have that gap in here that can stand out a little bit and doesn't give that kind of smooth crisp line that the liquid liner is supposed to be giving so I really do recommend kind of mixing up your liners trying them all out using multiple ones to create multiple different looks um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have about liners today. Um, if you have any more questions, link, uh, comment below. And, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really love to grow this family as we kind of learn and grow and develop our skill as makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a good day and bye.
like a New Year's resolution, some things that I'm wanting to work on with myself and with my life.